Um, Do we have to show our work today? Yes. So, show work. Shh, listen. Um, the process that we learned yesterday, completing the square, let me do one really quickly, just to remind you. Uh, let's do like minus 4x uh, plus 10. You guys remember how, what we did on these? Yeah. Well, yes. Oh, yes. first we moved the constant to the right if it wasn't already over there. And then, you remember what we did? Divided by two. Divided by two. And yeah. it took the negative four, divided it by two, oh, I know how it works. and then we squared it. And then negative two squared is four, so you do plus four on both sides. The left side, the reason we do that is because the left side factors perfectly to x. What goes into four adds up to negative four? Negative two. So it factors to x minus 2 squared equals, equals negative, six. negative 6. I feel like this might have been one of the questions. I think it was. Um, anyways, to get rid of the square, we square rooted. And then that just gets rid of the square over there. Over here, we have plus or minus i squared is 6. Okay, don't forget the plus or minus. And then the last step was adding two. Boys, be quiet. Adding two to both sides. So you get x equals. These don't really mix. Yeah, of course, of course. So a lot, most of the problems they did mix. You can add them together, but this one didn't. All right. Anyways, what they did, though, was they simplified that process. So if we have a... Uh, quadratic equation. Maybe I haven't defined the word quadratic equation yet. You guys know what a quadratic equation is? Four numbers? Has something to do with four, four no. variables? No, yeah, you'd think so, but no. Uh, quadratic e equation is an equation with an x squared in it, mm -hmm. or an a squared, or something squared in it. So you can solve a quadratic equation by factoring, mm -hmm. which we've been doing, completing the squares. Or the simplified version of completing the square is called quadratic formula. Why would you use the more hard way if the easier way works too? What do you mean? Like Which way is the easy way? The quadratic formula is still the simplified version of the Well, yeah. There are some problems. The reason I decided to do it is because there's some problems that are set up to solve it using completing the square. like. So that looked like this, something like that, and you basically complete the square. Anyways, yeah, quadratic formula and factoring are the two most useful ways, yes. Quadratic formula, if I completed the square on this, which I'm not going to, it takes too long, but it, it looks like this. So what do you guys think A, B, and C stands for? Number, number, number. The numbers in front, they're called coefficients. Okay, A, B, and C stand for the coefficients. All right, have you guys seen this before? Um, yeah. Yeah, is that a formula? No. That is a formula, it's called the quadratic formula. Ew. It's used to solve quadratic equations. We have been solving quadratic equations with factoring and yesterday completing the square. Sometimes factoring doesn't work like when you get a square root answer, okay? But quadratic formula always works, no matter what. Uh, so you just plug in, there's three variables, a, b, and c, and the a, b, and c come from the coefficients of the quadratic equation. a is in front of the x, b is, or x squared, b is in front of the x, c is the constant. Okay, and you just plug them in. So today is just a matter of plugging things in here? Yes. Pretty, nice. It's pretty straightforward. Although there are a lot of places you can make mistakes, so you got to be a little bit careful. Wait, so there's an A, X, where, and then you can see nothing. No, C is the constant right there. I will uh, move this over to the uh, whiteboard here after we're done. Maybe I should do that right now, actually.
so we can see it when I scroll. It's been used in geometry. Okay, anyways, um, we're going to just learn by doing, so that means number one. All right, am I on the right page? Uh, All right, so you start off with saying what is A, B, and C? Okay, A, if there's an invisible number, that's a one. So A is one, B is one, and C is negative two. All right, so I'm going to start with negative B. So B is 1, so it's negative 1 plus or minus the square root of B squared, 1 squared, minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is negative 2. over 2 times a, 2 times 1 in this case. Alright, so all I did was I plugged in a, b, and c. Are there any questions so far? Uh, you can do this on a calculator, but there is a problem. Does anybody see an issue? So how could we handle the plus or minus? You can do it separately. You can do it separately. So a lot of calculators, you can just like hit the back arrow and go change the plus into a minus for yeah. the second part. Um, anyways, yeah, you got, it's really two separate problems, two separate answers, just like yesterday. So I'm going to do this with my head, though. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. So this is positive 8 right here. So 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. So really, we've got squared 9. Trevor's gone again, huh? Yeah. And I also wrote it over there on the red. Um, so it's, what's the square root of 9? 3. three. So it's negative 1 plus or minus 3 over 2 times 1. It's 2. So sometimes they come out weird, like square root of 3, and you can't really simplify it. But if you can't simplify it, if it was like square root of 3, we would just stop right here. So it's actually easier. Uh, but since I know I can do negative 1 plus 3 and negative 1 minus 3, I need to simplify it all the way, just like yesterday. What's negative 1 plus 3? Positive 2. Positive 2. Divide by 2. What's negative 1 minus 3? Negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2. Well, I went, I'm going slow. I could go fast, but that would probably not be wise. Yeah, it's As you guys do more of these, you, you'll probably pick your speed up a little bit. So, you don't have to be that slow. All right, so you guys remember how we started? What is A, B, and C? Emily, what would A, B, and C be on this one? Um, let's see. A is... The Y squared. 1. B is... Negative 2. And C is... Negative 63. So this one will be a little bit different because B is negative, and that kind of confuses people. So... X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root. There's kind of a song that goes with it. Pop goes the weasel. X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Okay, now I remember. Guess. Oh, see, you remember. It's Pop goes the weasel. Brought it back. You guys. had the brain Guess what number one on the test is going to be? That. That. So, so basically, the, basically, yeah, just 
And you need to know it on the ACT and the whole thing. So anyways, yeah, it's good to get it in your brain. I can't do Okay, so if we have a negative B, B is already negative two. So what's negative, negative two? Positive two. So it's two plus or minus the square root. You could plug in your calculator negative, negative two. That's just a lot of extra stuff. Okay, here's another place where people plug in their calculator get it wrong. If I put in negative 2 for b right there, why would that be wrong? Because you have to square all of negative 2, not just the 2. So you could use parentheses, or you could just say, well, negative 2 squared is 4. So you could just say, that's just going to be a 4. But it should come out positive. If you don't put parentheses, it would come out negative and be wrong. Minus 4 times a, 1. Now, if we multiply by 1, does that do anything? No. 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 So you kind of skip that if it's a 1. Times C. All over 2 times A. 2 times 1 is 2. So you don't necessarily need to plug in every little thing. If you can simplify it a little bit in your head, I'll save you some time. Uh, what is that? 2, 4, 252, 256. And I believe the square root of this is 16. So we have 2 plus or minus 16 divided by 2. What's 2 plus 16? 18 divided by 2? 9. What's 2 minus 16? 14. Negative 14 divided by 2? Negative 7. Okay, by the way, in my opinion, factoring that would have been much easier. However, uh, however, some problems don't factor. I keep saying that, but it, probably by the time we get to the end of this assignment, we'll have some of those that are impossible to factor. And there'll be like square root answers, weird stuff. Actually, it starts on number eight. Okay, number five. 3x squared minus 2x minus 16. All right. Uh, what's my A, B, and C? Negative 2, negative 16. So negative B is actually going to be positive 2 again. B squared is going to be positive, negative 2 squared is positive 4 again. Minus 4 times A times C. All over 2A. Oh, yeah. I might want a calculator on this one. Let's see. 64, 192, 196. Square root of 14. Anybody concur? Deny? Uh, two, so I got two. No. Four. Okay, I got 14 for the square root. Yeah. So why is that a positive 4? Positive 4. If it's a negative 2, shouldn't it be negative 2 squared? Yes. And what is negative 2 times negative 2? If you do not use parentheses, Will, they will only square the 2, not the negative. But we need to square all of it. That explains the problem. I did mention that earlier if you haven't been doing the email Yes? Isn't there space for Isn't the what? Yes, but when you do negative b, negative negative 2 becomes positive. And when you square negative 2, it becomes positive 4. All right, so I have 2 plus 14 is 16 over 6. Do you guys know what 16 over 6 is? Divided by 2, it's 8 over 3. And 2 minus 14 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2.
Okay, number seven, 2c squared plus 5c minus 7. Yuck. Mm. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? <laughs> Bad habit. All right, uh, what's my a, b, and c? So what's my negative b going to be? Two. Negative 5. <laughs> 2 is the a. Square root of, you're thinking the last problem probably. Uh, b, b, squared. b squared is 5 squared. You could write down 5 squared or you can just say, well, I know 5 squared is 25. Minus 4 times a times c. So I'll do that. Uh, it's 25 plus 56. It's 81, so square root of 81 is 9. Oh, over 2a, 2 times 2. So I got negative 5 plus or minus 9 over 4. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4. Over 4 is 1. Whoops, just 1. Negative 5 minus 9 is negative 14 over 4 is negative, reduces to negative 7 halves. Is that a 7? Yep. What else would it be? I don't know. Me neither. There's only one thing. It would magically be an 8. Um, why don't you guys try, and, I'm going to pause, we're, we're about to get into the square root section, but I want to pause and come around and check your guys' number two. So everybody try number two, if you haven't already. Should be two integers, do you guys know what integers are? Whole numbers. Nah, no, whole numbers are on the positive or zero. Integers can be negative. Um, I got square root of 81 and the square root. And it's like 25 plus 2 i mean 2 
calculator. You're using this, Jasmine. Oh, you can. You can plug in your calculator. What's the A, B, and C? A is 1, B is negative 2, C is negative 48. You plug it, plug it into that thing. Did you guys get an answer?
we get an attraction that we can reduce? Yeah, just reduce. Yeah, always reduce. Always reduce. Do I have to or what? Never trust the bunny. Let me just go. What? I mean, that's a good one. Well, next one. No, you close it. You open the print piece for the beginning of the top and close the print piece for the top. Yeah, I'll print the top. Anybody else having trouble getting their calculator to do it right? I know I can. Yes, okay. You are? I can just try this out. Can you try to plug it in? I'm just trying this one back.
Norman. Yeah. Uh, let me do number nine. Nine eight eight is the first square root answer. Nine is also a square root answer. Do we just leave it like that? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do number nine. What? Does number 10 have I as part of the answer? Uh, yes. 10 is an imaginary answer, so some of your calculators might freak out if you try it. All right. If you have a smart enough calculator, they can handle it. If not, they won't. Uh, so number nine is the first kind of, or number eight actually, is the first kind of weird answer. So negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So the weird thing about this one is you get like square root of 29, which does not simplify. Okay, and then 2 times 7 is 14. So, there really isn't anything you can do to make this any simpler. We don't want the decimal weird decimal answer, so that, that's it. Um, how many answers do I have right here? Two. 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 One with the plus, one with minus. We could turn it into two decimals. We're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it with the square root. So if the square root doesn't simplify, you'll just have a weird answer like that. On number 10, a lot of guys were asking, you should get an imaginary answer. Yeah. Did you get an imaginary answer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. How far are we going? Okay. Uh, well, I do want to do that whole thing, but I might just, we might just do that on Monday and I'll add on a couple few problems on Monday. So I'll extend this to Monday, but I might add a few problems onto it also. Okay.